I absolutely love the Bayonetta series. It's one of my favorite game series of all time. I was inspired to make this video as a love letter to the series after recently replaying through Bayonetta 2, one of my all-time favorite games. I enjoy all the different aspects of these games, and I would like to talk about some of them now. My first exposure to the world of Bayonetta was through her inclusion in Smash 4. I wasn't aware of who she was at the time, and a lot of her content from her games that was included in Smash completely slipped by me. I decided to finally try these two games once they came out on the Switch. They looked like a fun time, and surely enough, they were. As previously mentioned, this is one of my all-time favorite game series. I've been a huge fan of the series ever since, and I'm super hyped for Bayonetta 3, assuming it wasn't just cancelled. Please, please bring it over. <laughs> the combat in the Bayonetta series is highly satisfying, and is the biggest reason I keep coming back to them even though I finished them. The combos and different weapon types are limitless, and it's just so fun to explore what all your moves and weapons do. Even though I see this a lot, I still try and try again to perfect my gameplay. The games are challenging, but that's part of the fun. It doesn't hold your hand and expects you to master the gameplay on your own. Once you fully learn the game inside and out, it becomes very satisfying and very fun to run around and destroy everything in your path with various combos. While admittedly the stories of the Bayonetta games are not always the strongest, the characters, and especially the humor, keep me engaged all the way through. Cereza, Jean, Rodan, Luca, Enzo, Balder, and all the others stand out and have good chemistry with one another. Enzo's particular standout. He steals the show whenever he's on screen. Oh, shit! Come on! It's my freaking birthday! It's always nice to see Bayonetta being a total badass in many scenes. Seeing her just not care in the slightest when a character is into some deep monologue is hilarious. Rodan also has some funny lines when you enter his shop. Beautiful. <laughs> the lore of the Bayonetta series is also quite unique and interesting. It's always exciting learning new details about the conflict between the Umbra Witches and the Lumen Sages. The worlds of Paradiso, Purgatorio, and Inferno are all beautiful and fun to fully explore for every little secret. Both the angels and demons also have nice designs, albeit a little creepy sometimes, and are satisfying enemies to defeat. The music in the Bayonetta series is nothing short of magnificent. It stands up there with some of the most iconic music in gaming history. Every track is so well put together and catchy that I often find myself listening to the OST outside of the games. It's also neat how they got the rights to some copyrighted songs, such as Fly Me to the Moon. Some of my personal favorites have to be Riders of the Light, Tomorrow is Mine, Mysterious Destiny, Red and Black, and of course, the iconic Let's Dance Boys. The video is filled with some of the music from the series, and I hope you check them all out for yourself after hearing it in this video. Both Bayonetta 1 and 2 have so much extra content that'll keep the player engaged well after the game is over. The multiple difficulties unlock different things, usually extra characters like Jean or Rosa, which encourages players to play multiple times. The award system also lets players strive for the best possible score on each level. There are endless costumes and weapons for the characters, leading to a high level of customization, as previously mentioned. Each playthrough could potentially be very different. There's also a sound test and an art book, all packed in with the game. You know, a lot of games usually don't pack so much bonus content into their games anymore, and would commonly save these extras as DLC. So it's very nice to see how Bayonetta manages to keep all this extra little goodies in the game. Hmm. 
Now that you've heard why I hold this series in such high regard, I'd like to know your opinions on the franchise if you played it. And if you haven't played it, please do so. It's a highly enjoyable experience. Pick up the Switch version whenever you have the chance. That's it from me. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content from me. And I'll see you in the next video.